is Dave Tim here for Guns and Tactics Magazine. We're at the Vortex Optics booth at SHOT Show 2017 with some exciting new products. I'm here with my longtime shooting friend, Ruben. Ruben, thank you so much for spending some time. You bet, Dave. I know it's a busy day. Got a lot of people coming through the booths, but you have a lot of really cool stuff, so I wanted to make sure we uh, talked about that. And Ruben, seriously, one of the best guys in the industry. I've been shooting three gun with him for years. Solid, solid shooter, even better guy. And he works for a great company, so we're excited to highlight some thank of their you. new stuff. Appreciate that. So you have new scopes, you have a new red dot, we have a new rangefinder. Yep. Uh, the thing I'm personally most excited about is this one to six. What can yeah. you tell me about this bad boy right here? So that's the uh, the very uh, long time, you know. I guess they've been on the market for a long time. The Viper PST series. Yeah. Um, we've all come to know and love them, especially like that was my first scope. I, I shot my first three gun match with a uh, one to four PST. Yeah. Um, a great little scope, but for 2017 we've kind of upped the ante. Um, that's a one to six by 24. Um, as you can see, a lot of the same styling features as the Razor 1 to 6, which is, you know, a lot of us know that to now be yeah. our favorite scope. Amazing scope. I shoot that in 3 gun and I'm seeing a lot of similarities, feel, style. It's kind of cool to see a lot of that quality trickle down to the, the Viper line. Yeah, absolutely. So, kind of, you know, like as time goes on, we're able to bring some of that technology into the, into the second generation PST. Cool. Um, we're offering it in the VMR2, so the MOA and the MRAD reticles that we have uh, in the 1 to 6 Razor. Yep. So identical razors, uh, reticles to the Razor. Um, these got the same daylight bright dot uh, in the you know that center center dot. Um, the illumination control is now on the on the side of the scope. So the old PSTs had the illumination control back on the eyepiece, which a little yeah. bit cumbersome, kind of got in the way a little bit of a throw lever, but we've moved that over to the side of the scope, kind of based on the feedback that we've had on the 1 to 6 Razor. So I know I'm super excited about it. Um, Adam Maxwell and I had a chance to shoot those out at uh, Seekin's Purgatory Flats match um, in December, and like I think we both agreed it didn't slow us down, and yeah. we're both guys that have shot Razors now. So Yeah. Now, uh, what I like with the illumination, I'm seeing off clicks in between. Yeah, so every other click is off. Nice. And it looks daytime bright in here. I mean, I know it's a little bit tougher to tell, but I, it looks very similar to my Razor. Yeah, there's no reason to believe that it would be any different than the Razor 1 to 6. In fact, we had them out in you know desert conditions, bright sunlight, high noon, um, and had no problem seeing the dot. So, cool. 30 millimeter tube, so all your popular mounts will work. Yep. Covered cap, so you don't worry about anything getting bumped, whether you're in a patrol rifle or on a match, which is solid features there. And the uh, you know the exit pupil or the eye box looks very forgiving. Yeah. You know, on one X, I'm you know I tried it out a little bit. Uh, you know, with my razors and now with this kind of playing around here at the show, guys, it's it's fast. It's a really, really nice optic. And it's black, so I know uh, some of the law enforcement, you know, guys who have maybe yeah. policy restrictions or like that, but a hefty scope, but that's what you get for quality. VIP warranty, yeah, of course, right? absolutely. I, we actually shaved about four ounces off of this scope compared to the razor, so. Nice. It's, it's heavier than the one to four, but you're also getting a lot more optic and, uh, you know, that potential to go out that next two power up to six power um, makes those, you know, four or five hundred yard, yard shots at a match or whatever you might be using it for a little bit easier. Now, also in the Viper line, we have a couple other magnification powers, yep. right? Yep, so there's a two to ten by 32 first focal plane. Okay. Um, there's a three to 15 by 44. That's a first and second focal plane. Nice. Um, new reticle there, there's an EBR4. It's very similar to the EBR1 reticle we've had for a long time, just kind of enhanced it a little bit, made it more usable. Cool. And then, uh, 5 to 25 by 50, so that one also comes in the EBR2 or an EBR4. Nice. The price range, MSRP is $9.99? Yep, so on the 1 to 6, MSRP is $9.99. Um, the street price is realistically going to be about 700 bucks. Okay, awesome. And then the other ones are getting a little bit higher in price as yep. the magnification there goes was, up? You know, there was definitely a little bit of a price increase, nothing drastic, but um, <clears throat> the, the other scopes actually went from the shim system on okay. the zero stop to a mechanical zero stop from our RZR system. So again, we took some of that Razor technology, brought it down to the Generation 2 PSTs. So you have a mechanical zero stop. Those have the illumination moved out to the to the side of the optic instead of on the eyepiece. Cool. Um, overall, a lot of great um, new benefits to the new PSTs. Awesome. What else do you have? So we're really excited this year too. This is uh, this is the Razor AMG UH1. Um, kind of we're calling it the Huey around around the shop. I've heard. Um, this is a holographic weapon sight. So we've kind of taken everything that you know uh, about holographic sights and kind of taken it to the next level. Cool. Um, you know, move all the critical components that are kind of responsible for that maintaining zero. Yep. Moved them into the base of the optic. You get a really, really flat field of view. You know, there's no edge distortion as you're out on the edges. 
and as you know, you, I mean, if you've got plate carrier on or whatever, you're going to be, you're going to have a little bit of a harder time getting a perfect placement of that rifle. Whereas at a three gun match, you can I mean, wear, yeah. wear a jersey and you don't have any problems with, with getting that gun shouldered properly. But yeah. we know this optic is probably going to be used on duty and um, made it very easy to use for, for the end user. We've got uh, our new EBR CQB reticle that features a uh, one and a half MOA center dot. It's got a 65 MOA outer ring, and then there's actually a triangle um, on the bottom of the, the circle, which is your seven yard and under holdover. Nice. So, so for that makes, side over border shoot. Yep. So awesome. there's no more holding high for that, you know, that CQC shot. Cool. Um, these are about a 1500 hour runtime on the battery too. Excellent. So the optic will always power up at setting number eight. So that's right in the middle of your illumination intensity. Um, that way you always know where it's going to be when you power it up. Okay. So uh, it's got a 14 hour shut off. So I mean. Make you through a, a whole shift It'll get sure. you through a whole shift. Nice. Um, and then some, you know, some guys shifts don't exactly end right on time. So, yeah. um, but. We, uh, we've incorporated an onboard charger onto the Optic too, so you can run, uh, they're an LFP123 battery, and it's a micro USB port right here. Um, you can recharge the battery, you know, put it in a rack in your squad and, you know, leave it plugged in. You nice. Can disable that 14 hour shut off, and then just leave it on all the time. Okay. So you don't, you never have a, an issue with having power when you need it. So you can disable the auto shut off too. Yep. Nice. So you just, it's really simple. You just hold down on the, the down button for three seconds. Okay. Awesome. So and as far as brightness controls, uh, just on the back you have your... Yep. Uh, so the brightness controls are actually going to be right here. That's the, the down intensity. That's the up intensity. To power it down, you click them both once and it shuts it off. All right. Battery compartments on the side. Yep. Battery compartments on this side of the optic. Integrated mount. Integrated quick release mount. It holds the optic at a lower one third co-witness height. So, you know, we don't discriminate any flat top. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys really thought this out. Yeah, we've, one thing we've also done is we've, we've virtually eliminated forward signature. Now that's all because of moving those components into the lower part of the optic, um, we're able to do that. So you're not getting that red glare coming out of the front of the optic. Nice. Um, that's, a, that's a big thing I know. We've heard a lot of feedback from guys on what they want to see out of a holographic site. Sure. Cool, really cool stuff so far. And I understand you have one more thing. Right? Yeah, so we'll go over, uh, we got our new Fury HD. They're a range finding binocular. These are a 10 by 42. So, um, taking that like Viper HD optical quality okay. and incorporating a 1600 yard range finder with wow. angle compensation built into it. Cool. So for the marksmen, yep. the snipers out there, this could be your your binocular as well as your range finder with that angle. Yeah, they're, and they're incredibly durable. They've got rubber armor housing, a center focus wheel. You've got a actually a reticle inside the scope for aiming the range finder, or inside the binocular for okay. aiming the range finder. And then what you would do is you got a reticle focus on this side and you've got a diopter adjustment on this side. But you have our twist out eye cups. Um, they're yeah, put a sling on them. Um, they're a really cool little product and I, I know they're gonna go in my three gun bag. Yeah. What are these sell, uh, sell for? So these are gonna be right around twelve hundred dollars. Um, you know it's one of our it's our premium quality glass. Yeah. And it's uh the that's actually the largest range finder we've ever done is a sixteen hundred. So excellent. We're pretty excited about these too. Yeah, um, it's also covered by our VIP warranty, like all of our other products. Well, that's what makes the company so great. I mean, anything happens to it, you guys are covered. And I can't remember if we mentioned the price on the red dot, the new. Uh, yeah, so the, the Huey, um, that one's, uh, and I didn't mention this too, but that that's part of the AMG family, so that's made here in the U.S. Awesome. Um, but the Huey is going to come in at uh, MSRP of six ninety nine. Street price, realistically, dealers are going to sell them for about four ninety nine. So four ninety nine for a duty grade red dot with a mount, that's really competitive. Yeah. And that long battery life, that durability that we've come to know and love with Vortex, I really think uh, you guys have a, a home run on your hands. So cool. Uh, where can we find more info? What webpage would you want them to go to? So you can check all this new stuff out at vortexoptics.com. Um, you know, give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, uh, all the social media outputs. Uh, we're we're there. So sounds great. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all of your SHOT Show 2017 coverage, make sure you're checking out Guns and Tactics magazine. That's gunsandtactics.com. See you soon.